Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO video. Today we're going to be looking at a Japan Top 64 Metagross Swampert Ninetales deck. I saw this on Limitless and I was like, okay, this is an interesting deck. Now the original list was a bit different. Um, there was only two max potions. The deck played four nest balls. It didn't play Elm's Lecture. I've edited the list a little bit so that it runs Professor Elm's Lecture because it is a very good card with Metagross. And yeah, this is going to be a Metagross deck with Swampert and with Ninetales. So Metagross GX has always been very interesting. Obviously, Geotech system, Giga Hammer, pretty good. Chain this with Max Potion. It's a very strong card. Now, Metagross, I think, has lost a little bit of uh, recognition. One, because there's Blacephalon. Blacephalon just destroys Metagross. It's a fire type, so Metagross doesn't really stand a chance against stuff like Blacephalon. But this list is kind of there to help with that matchup. So first off, there's a Lola Ninetales GX. This card is popping off right now. If you're playing a stage two deck, you basically have to play Ninetales. It's like with Decidueye, Gardevoir, and Meganium. And we're gonna use it with another stage two, which is Metagross. And Metagross is all about getting multiple Metagross in play. So Ninetales helps us out with that with Mysterious Guidance. We can also use it for Sublimation against Blacephalon and we have Snowy Wind. We do play one Fairy Energy in this deck. The Japan list played one Fairy. Uh, we also play a 1-1 Swampert line. Not only can this deal with Blacephalon, but it also provides you draw support with Power Draw. You get a Swampert down, you should be able to chain multiple Metagross, and you also have that backup Water Attacker against Blacephalon. So that is basically it. We play two Leles. That's it for the Pokemon. The original Japan list did play one Delmize and one Tapu Lele and four Nest Balls, but I've trimmed that list down a bit, and I've edited. I've added Timer Ball, Elm's Lecture, a third Max Potion, and I've removed Elmize for another Lele. So that's basically how I've edited the list. But we're going to look a bit more at what else is in this list. Uh, we do play three copies of Max Potion. Obviously, it's the best card with Metagross to chain heals. There's also, like, a lot of spread right now. And there's also, of course, other decks that can, you know, hit you. We got four Rare Candies to be able to get Metagross going. We got one Stretcher. I am playing one Timer Ball. Timer Ball is really good with Nine Tails. Like, it might not be that reliable of a card because you can get Double Tails. But the fact that you can Mysterious Guidance for a Timer Ball Rare Candy will guarantee you Metagross a lot of the time. We are playing four cards of Ultra Ball to be able to search for our Pokemon. Two Brooklyn Hills to be able to put Mudkips and Bullpixes down. And one Mount Cornet is in the list also to get Metal Energy back into our hand when we need it. We are also playing a pretty decent line of supporters. Four Cynthia's. I finally got a fourth Full Art, by the way. Beautiful Full Art. We got three Lilies. Now I just got to get another Lily. We got three Guzmas and... We got three Elms Lecture, of course, turn one Elms to get, like, multiple Beldums and Mudkip and Vulpix down. And I'm playing two Kikuis in here. The Japan list did play two Professor Kikui. Kikui does help with the math with Metagross. It does allow Metagross to hit better numbers. Um, you can also use it with Ninetales. You can also use it with Swampert on a Blacephalon. And three Choice Band, really important for Metagross to do 180. One Super Boost Energy, obviously, you're going to get multiple Stage 2s in play. You may as well run one Super Boost Energy. One Fairy Energy for Nine Tails, and the list only played seven metals. That could easily be changed for an eighth metal energy, but you can actually get away with seven metal energies. So seven metals is fine enough. Now, if I were to, if you want to add anything else, you could probably consider running one copy of like run a Sogaleo line instead. Doesn't really matter what Sogaleo line you play. You can play the Sun Steel Strike one, or you can play the Turbo Strike Sogaleo. I think both of them would be good picks. Um, but Swampert is just cooler, helps us withdraw. It's not a GX Pokemon, but I would highly recommend playing this Sogaleo. Prominence with um, Metagross's Max Potion Spam is already a really good combo. And then Sunsteel Strike would be good. So if you want to play Metagross Sogaleo, do it. I mean, I might I might make a Metagross Sogaleo vid down the road if you guys do want to see me do a Metagross Sogaleo video with Nine Tails. I am definitely down to do that. But for now, we're going to look at the Swampert build from Japan and try it out. So we're going to go get some games on PC Joe, see it in action, and we'll see how we do with the deck today. Catch you guys in a minute. Alright guys, let's go do some games with Metagross here, see what we play against. I'm curious if we'll play against any Meganium Greninja decks. I will have to find out if we do or not. That deck was everywhere for the past few days. Like, I'm pretty sure like every PDCGO YouTuber ever made a video on that deck, including me. So like, it's kind of crazy to see how a deck like that just completely blew up here on the PDCGO YouTube. That's kind of insane. Just taking that in, like, literally, I think every big one. Alright, so we're gonna start with a Vulpix. Pretty good opening hand. We can turn one Elms. We're up against an Ultra Necrozma Malamar deck, which I think we can beat. Necrozma is not a big threat, I don't think. It might be hard to deal with because it has a bit more HP than we're used to. But I think we'll be okay. 
We can actually utilize sublimation here beautifully. My opponent's going to nest ball. But I mean, our hand is just good enough we can make it work. Ooh, Chimeco. That's really annoying. Alright. The only way we can deal with that is with Tapu Lele GX. That's like the only way we can deal with this thing. I can use Matang, I guess, because that technically doesn't have an ability. Type Null, what the heck? Alright, so... We'll see what we can do. We did prize the other Vulpix. Do we prize our Fairy Energy? Okay, we did. That's good. We have Kukui we can use. We have Lele. We do have our Matang. I think we can deal with Chimeco. It's gonna be a bit of a challenge, though. We'll get rid of... Uh... Probably just both metals. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can get rid of both metals. I kind of want to save Ultra Ball for next turn. So we get both metals. We'll grab Tapu Lele. We won't get knocked out next turn, but I still want to get the metals. We still have Guzma, so like we can always try and trap Savali in the active or Malamar. Don't really know why Savali's even in here, to be fair. So we'll just triple bell them. We'll put both we'll put them all down. We can Kikui and hopefully make something we can Kikui twice and knock out Chimeco if it ever does come down to that. So we'll do Beacon for Matang and either Ninetales or well, like, okay, what items could we grab if we do get nine tails? Nice potion we don't really need. I don't think we're gonna need nine tails. We might as well just get, like... Ooh, we probably Swampert, actually, I just realized. Okay, that sucks. I think we just get Metagross and Matang. Opponent can't play any Pokemon. I'm pretty sure I can't use Rare Candy. Like, I think... I, I haven't been in a situation where Bell of Silence has hit me, but I don't think I can play Rare Candy here. So again, we're going to have to just attack with Matang and hope for the best. Or try and Guzma, like, a Silvali up and then hope he doesn't, like, Guzma or retreat. We're not guaranteed, though. I should, maybe could have grabbed a Lele, but we're not going to get knocked out next turn, so there's, like, literally no point to getting Tapu Lele. But to be fair, he's only doing 10 damage, so he's got to attack me with something else down the road. Okay, let's see what we draw. Yeah, we can't use Rare Candy, that's very annoying. Um, well, Cynthia, I'm looking for probably Mount Coronet, some energies. Okay, we do find an energy. May as well attach. We'll do Beacon for Metagross, and I think I am going to get Ninetales here. The reason I'm, I'm just getting ready for like a... Uh, I'm going to attack with Matang, put some pressure on with Matang, hopefully, in the coming turns, and then force him to knock me out with something else, and then we get access to our Metagrosses. So, that's going to be the plan here. Just going to prepare for that moment. Let's get some Fall Keys. Getting rid of a B-String is pretty good. I am a little scared of, like, having Necrozma and one-shot Metagross. That is a bit of a tricky thing to deal with. Gonna get Malware. He's gonna be able to build up some energy, which is a little annoying, but again, once he breaks the Bell of Silence, we should be good to just spam Metagross and we can get set up pretty quickly. I don't think he's gonna knock me out. He could knock me out, but I mean, we're gonna kill this Dawn Wings. Actually, I really hope he does knock out my Vulpix, because I did grab Ninetales. No, he's not. Of course not. Why would you? Don't fall for the bait. Kinda wish we had QE, but this will force him to have to attack me with something else now. We're just going to hold the hand. It's pretty good. We can double rare candy when we get knocked out. We'll hit him for 20. We'll force him into a tough spot. He can't even damage my Matang here. Force him to attack me with one of his other Pokemon. Seems like a good strategy. I am scared of this thing getting... Not that. No, Malamar is not what I'm scared of. I am scared of Ultra Necroz a bit getting built up. But it looks like he's going for that Dawnwings. No, he's going to do nothing. All right. No Bell of Silence. I don't think he's playing Judge. We can play Professor Kikui, though I'm probably going to need to save that when I need to one-shot Necrozma, so I'm just going to keep hitting him here. It's actually pretty good. He can't do um, Scorching Light. That would be pretty terrifying. He would literally take four prizes. 
I kind of want him to knock me out with Necrozma so we can one-shot it with Metagross. Well, we actually would need an energy top deck. The original Japan, Japan list, actually, I did forget to mention, it played a card called Energy Spinner, which is literally just search deck for an energy card. I can Kikui him now and knock him out. Ooh, fairy energy is huge. I might actually save that. Yeah, you know what? We're going to save that and knock him out with Nine Tails instead of Metagross, I guess. Yeah, I think we take the knockout here. We have another Kikui in the deck. We have Ultra Ball for Lele if we ever need it. Plus, I want to draw an energy. There we go. We are going to lose Matang, unless he decides to do something else. I hope we don't get Judge. This is like a really overpowered hand. I don't think he's playing Judge though. He might play Marshadow. We just got to see. But our hand is really good otherwise. I'm, I mean, I'm glad I'm, he's knocking me out with Alternate Krozma. We'll probably hit him with a Sublimation, Snowy Wind. So I'm not too worried about the spot run. As long as he doesn't judge me, we're going to be able to take control of this game pretty quickly. As long as he does not judge me, this game is going to go our way quickly. He's gonna nest ball for nothing? Huh. Oh, I'm so triggered! You Oh that okay, I'm sorry. That that makes me like oh and I'm gonna get a terrible hand watch. <sighs> that is so dumb. Why? Of course you had that in your hand! Why wouldn't you? This game is trash. I'm just joking. It's not trash, I'm just really annoyed. That is so stupid. Alright, let's see what we draw. Okay, the Lily comeback is good. Jeez, man. I am so frustrated right now. It's not even funny. I think I go Ultra Ball here. Jeez. Of course he had the Judge, man. I can't get over how stupid that is. Um, we'll grab Rare Candy, Ultra Ball. I could grab Lele. There's not much to grab. I can play this whole hand down. I think I will get Ultra Ball. Do I evolve the active, though, is the question. I'm pretty low on energy, so I don't know if I'm even going to hit an energy here. I mean, we can always go for Algorithm. You can always max Potion, too. That's why I did test because originally I was going to Ultra Ball the Choice Band and Max Potion away, but I'm going to save that and just see what we can get. Alright, we did get the double Metagross. We'll get rid of Guzma and Ultra Ball. Kind of wish we could get Swampert in play right now, but it is prize. It's a good thing I'm saving the rare can the uh, Max Potion, though. It's only one Max Potion, right? Yeah, we still got two left. We're not going to knock him out. We are going to put a lot of damage on him, though. Um... Unfortunately, we can't put enough damage on him to KO him down the road with Snowy Wind. That would be pretty good. Fine, though. This thing can always be dealt with, you know, with, uh... With, I mean, Metagross can do enough damage. Ninetales destroys him. Maybe I should have waited to play the Choice Band on my Ninetales. Make him think I don't play the Fairy Energy, but I do. So, I don't know. Hopefully, we get Swampert out of the prize. So, he's going to Invasion. He doesn't have Moon's Eclipse, so he's gonna just Dark Flash me. And then we're gonna Retreat. And Max Potion. It's gonna treasure away Lele for another Inke, or was that a Malamar? I think that was a Malamar. <sighs> okay, so he's going to be building up a Cosmo. That's fine. I actually, you know, I could have saved that Guzma, and then I actually could have knocked him out next turn. It's fine though. Oh, he's actually. A Whoa, I didn't mean to do that. He's actually attacking me with that. Okay. Interesting. Does he get the knockout? I don't know if he's attached an energy already, but he does have it. Of course he does. <sighs> didn't do the math. That's just... Lovely. I kind of have to bring you up. We do have a stretcher. See what this Cynthia gets. That judge, dude. Oh, my gosh. Oh, we actually hit the fairy energy. Oh my goodness. We actually hit the fairy energy. That is insane. Yeah, we're gonna rescue stretcher. I don't know if we really need a tank. Yeah, you know, we might actually need Matang back. No, you know, that's no, fine. 
We've used two candies, so it's like I kind of want to get it back, but I don't really think I need it at the same time. All right. Okay, will Snowy win? Hmm. Okay, so I only have three Pokemon. He's not going to be able to knock me out with Rebel, which is good. The only question is, will Sublimation... Yeah, Moon's Eclipse... Yeah, block sublimation. All right, we'll just hit the Sabali, I guess. Let's see what our two prizes are. For Candy Swampert, no. We got Swampert, that's good. We got Vulpix, so I don't want to play it down. He's gonna Moon's Eclipse me, which is fair enough. And that will KO me, actually. This game, this game didn't work out too well for us, guys. This game did not work out too well. This was a garbage match. That judge! Oh, I, I'm still triggered by that judge, man. Like, of course he had in his hand, you know. The one turn he needed to judge, this man just happened to have it in his four-card hand. Whatever. Load of BS. Alright, so... Oh, he's not Moon's eclipsing me. What the heck? How much energy is that guy played? What? Six? Eight? Whatever. Right, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Hmm. That's our last energy. We can't we can't really go into nine tails again. Screw off with that well played. I don't want to see that. Well Cynthia. I will have the algorithm, I guess. Let's see. I'm on Cornet. Hmm. Game. Does he have game? He hasn't played a Guzma. Yeah, I guess he has game. Oh my gosh, that judge, man. Dude, why? Oh, man, that stupid judge, bro. I'm still salty about that. Like, come on. This is a matchup I think is like one of our better matchups, and I lose because of judge, basically. That's just so lovely. I can't get over to that. I'm trying to think what I can do. Hmm. Yeah, he hasn't played a Guzma. I can algorithm. I guess we just YOLO it, hope for the best. Hope for the best. Hope for the best. That's all I can do. Wow, we're actually out of our candies. Great, yeah, so... About winning this match, that's literally not going to happen anymore. Because There's no way we can get a Metagross in play. Unless we get a rare candy off the prizes, which we 100% will if we take out a GX here. Assume we don't lose. And then I can go Swampert, do boost energy. That's like the only thing I can think of right now. We'd have to survive the turn, so... But he's probably got Guzma in hand, so it's gonna concede. I don't know. I'm still a little, just not not a lot, but just a little little annoyed. All right, guys, let's go do another match with our deck. Hopefully, we get Swampert in play. This is a Mars Swampert deck, and it looks like we're against another Necrozma deck. So this is where we pray that hopefully everything goes well. This guy does not play Chimeco, and hopefully we are able. To get Night Tails attacking, we prize a fairy energy that could be pretty bad. Night Tails is one of the best players for this type of a matchup. Hopefully, we get a good start going. A little bit of a revealing hand there, not gonna lie. Kind of reveals what we're playing. All right, let's see what we get here. Got a Vulpix start. Beautiful, beautiful turn one. Got turn one Vulpix, turn one Lele for Elms. In before, somehow we prize three elms. That could never happen. Let's see. Okay, we go first. That's good. So we're not going to get KO'd, which means we can get an early sublimation. All right, so we're going to elms. So we prize to Beldum. We prize to Metagross. We do have our... Okay, we got the Swampert this time. Uh, we do have our Nine Tails and Vulpix. One max potion. Never mind. All our candies are in check. We do have our Fairy Energy, and we prize to Metal Energy. All right, so not bad. 
I could do without a Beldum Beam Prize, which is cool. So Elm's Lecture for Beldum Beldum. Now, the odds we get KO'd next turn aren't too low. So I'm gonna get Mudkip. I'm gonna bank on the fact he doesn't KO my Vulpix here, and I'm probably gonna attach some Metal Energy to it. So we can try and set up a Sublimation. Plus, if we get KO'd, the energy is the discard pile for Beldum. And I can always retreat back to another Vulpix, assuming we survive. I doubt we're gonna get KO'd here. Like, without Malamar or anything, there's no way Vulpix goes down. We get a nice big Sublimation KO, that would be great, because... I mean, Dauntless is easier to deal with thanks to Metagross hitting 180. Ninetales is morally needed for the alternate Cosmic, considering we only play the one fair energy, but still. I was gonna Cynthia. We should be able to KO him here with Sublimation, and then hopefully Ninetales lives another turn, and then maybe set up a Guzma KO with Snowy Wind on a Necrozma, take four prizes that quickly, and my opponent scoops the game! No! Dang, my opponent conceded. Alright, can I get some S in the chat? That sucks. Alright, we'll do another match. That really sucks. I was hoping that would not happen. That was a pretty good start we had, for once. My opponent probably just saw the, the Vulpix, but either way, like, if I was playing Necrozma, I'd still feel safe. Like, it's not guaranteed I had the Fairy. So, I don't know. Okay, looks like we're up against a deck with a lot of different types. I really hope this is not something silly like Rodom, because that's, like, barely even a match. Double Lele start? Oh, that's interesting. Our hand's pretty trash, too. We can definitely do Elms here, but we don't have a follow-up, and we can't really get another Lele out of the deck because we have both in our hand. Okay, good. We are not up against anything. Right, we're up against White Kirim, though. White Kirim actually could be a challenge, though it doesn't one-shot Metagross, so that's, I guess, a good sign. Our hand sucks, though, so hopefully we get a better hand. Shrine is going to be a challenge. We don't have a way to bump it, so Lele is going to take a bit of damage here, which I don't like. What is that do? Your opponent knows. So he could discard my stadium. Hopefully we can draw like a Broken Hill. We could still potentially set up a Swampert, so that's good. Though I don't know if Vulpix is really safe from getting KO'd, which is the only issue. Okay, we're going to get Arceus. Arceus actually kind of sucks because it does have enough HP to take a hit from Metagross. Alright, so it's just going to pass. Let's see what we draw. Okay, that could have been the best top deck we asked for. So we'll get Beldum, Beldum, Vulpix. Well, no, actually, we're gonna get Beldum, Swampert, Mudkip. Beldum, Swampert, no, Mud Beldum, Vulpix, Mudkip. My bad. My bad. We're gonna get these three boys. Vulpix should be safe. It's only doing 30. We'll beacon for Swampert and Ninetales. Do we have a fair energy? We do. So we'll grab Ninetales and Swampert. We're probably gonna need Swampert here too to take a big super boost energy KO. Though he is weak to metal and he does get one shot by Metagross, but I'm just saying in general. We do need to get more Beldums down though, so we're gonna have to work on doing that. But I'm just gonna guarantee the Swampert here. I'm just gonna Cynthia. We're gonna go Timer Ball Rare Candy. Maybe get Matang down, play it slow. Once again, my opponent scoops the game. Wow, we can't even get a third turn. Holy cow. I'm doing this like all in like one big take. So, I mean, well not a big take, obviously I cut out you know, the last part of the game. But yeah, my point, this is all like in one fell swoop. Don't got a lot of time to record. So, we'll take what we can get. I mean, the wins are nice, because I am trying to get that Fuller Juniper before Monday. And here we go. Looks like we're against potentially Vikabulu or a Coco deck. Hopefully we actually get the game to play out this time. Zero Aura, I'm pretty sure, is resistant to metal. I can't remember. I haven't used it that much. And rip the turn one elms, but we do get a full pick start, which is pretty good. But no turn one elms is unfortunate. Alright, we'll see what we're up against. Yep, we're up against Naganadel, Zero Aura, Tapu Coco. Zero Aura is definitely gonna be a bit of a challenge. Like, if he hits like Choice Band double electro power, that is um No wait. No, yeah, he'd actually, yeah, no, I'm pretty sure Zerora struggles to one-shot Metagross. I hope he doesn't play Kikui. Like, if this man hits, like, double Electro Power, Choice Band, he can do, like, 240 damage to Metagross. A little bit of HP, 
And then if he has like a shrine or a QE in his deck, then we're already gone. I gotta watch out for Coco too. I gotta watch out for having too much energy in play. 250 HP is a lot, but if we have at least five energy in play, which we probably might get to a point where that does happen, we'll, we'll get Tapu Thundered. So Metagross is tanky, and yeah, he has risen the metal. So he's gonna have 210 HP in this matchup. He is going to be very hard to one shot. So Zeraora is gonna be a bit of an issue to deal with. Coco, not so much. It doesn't have a weakness or resistance, and it has enough HP for Giga Hammer to KO it. Kinda hope we can just get Elms here. I really wanna get a turn one Elms going. We'll have to see. Our hand is decent too. I can like Elms and then guarantee Nine Tails or something. He's actually gonna judge me this time. Well, we know what happened last time we got judged, Kappa. But, if we get judged into an Elms, I will be very happy. We should be able to. We have a lot of outs. Two Leleys, three Elms, two or four Ultra Balls. It's good he's playing this too before I do Algorithm. No, it gave me a bad hand. Uh, why wouldn't it? Why would- Bruh, are you actually kidding me? Alright, well, Beacon for Beldum and Lele. Now, will we lose this turn? If He judged himself. He only has three cards. If he hits, like, the Thunder Mountain, Energy Switch, something crazy, we might get KO'd, but I feel kind of safe here. Never mind, he got a Cynthia out the Judge, so he's probably gonna hit Coco, and he's gonna knock me out, so that's just lovely. Apparently, Judge is, like, the biggest thing that hurts Metagross. Apparently, because every time I get judged, I end up losing because of basically Kappa. Okay. If he hits in the Gandalf and Coco here, we lose. Mm, he doesn't. Beautiful. We got an extra turn to live. And we top deck Cynthia, though I'm going to go for Elm's Lecture. I'm actually going to get the spare Volpix, because we will probably get KO'd this turn. And then we can double rare candy, which is nice, so we'll just do Elms Lecture for Vulpix, Mudkip, and Beldum. For these bad boys. We will... I'm gonna play this now so I don't draw it. In case he, like, judges me again. Tries to disrupt me. We'll grab Ninetales and probably just Matang. And then go double rare candy. Now the question is, is does my opponent play two copies of Judge in his deck? <laughs> Let's find out, because we have an insanely good hand. I mean, we actually could have grabbed. Well, we're gonna get KO'd, but if somehow we don't get KO'd, we could have maybe went for like double nine tails or something. Double rare candy, get like three stage twos in play, take a big knockout with super boost energy. But our hand is good enough. We'll be good. Okay, get ultra ball and energy. It's the only card we played is Elm, so that's nice. Now all I need to do is set up Power Draw with Elms. I still need to get two more, three more full arts of that card. Which I'm probably going to do. Alright, so, no judge this turn is nice. I don't think he's playing Mars Shadow. He could. I hope he doesn't. We'll see, though. Will he even knock out Vulpix? That is another question. Does he see knocking out Vulpix a good or a bad thing? He's going to Ultra Ball. This is most likely going for either Naganadel or Coco, getting rid of two energies. Going for Pikachu. Oh, he's playing Raichu Naganado. Oh my goodness. He's playing the Raichu. Okay, that's another problem because Raichu is resistance to metal. So we'll have to see if it comes a problem or not. But it looks like he's potentially just going for full voltage. He's got already two in the discard pile. There's a Thunder Mountain. So it looks like he is going for full voltage here. Yeah, does he hit like an energy switch or something? I don't think he did. No, okay, so he's gonna full voltage only for two energies. That's fine. I was, I'm pretty sure he was going to KO me, so that sucks. But I can still do double nine tails. Now, Coronet, bye-bye to that stadium. Wish we could play it. We'll put Matang down. The odds that I actually hit, like, a snowy win this turn aren't very high. Though, to be fair, we have to force him to find an electro charge to knock out my nine tails. But I don't want... I'd rather just do Beacon again. I don't want to lose Ninetales that quickly. Oh my gosh, we prized two rare candies. R.I.P. We prized a Metal Energy too. That is a bit of a rip. But we can get Swampert into play now, which is nice. Rare candy from... 
Surprising two rare candies is good because that means I could, you know, should have grabbed that. Well, Cynthia, we don't need to do super boost. We don't want to waste it. And all right, we got an energy. Attach that to Metagross. We'll power draw. Away. Hmm. Every card in his hand is pretty important, I say. Maybe just Stretcher. Or Choice Band. But I think we're gonna need Choice Band. I don't wanna get rid of Choice Band. It's pretty important, I think. Yeah, we're gonna need Choice Band, I think. So probably, I guess Guzma? No, I might, let's, whatever. We'll get rid of Stretcher and assume we serve Metang lives. And we'll do Beacon for Beldum and Metagross. Hmm. I could get Lele for Professor Kikui, so I could set up a Kikui on Pikachu. Yeah, I actually think that's pretty important. Yeah, we'll get, we already have two Metagross in our hand. Yeah, we'll grab Lele for Kikui. If we can find two boost energy next turn, you know, off Kikui or Power Draw, we, we might be able to KO Pikachu with, uh, or Raichu, sorry, with Hydro Pump. So I'm actually going to grab the Lele. Though he could judge me again, you never know. I am scared Matang gets KO'd here. That's the only thing I'm worried about. That's why I was hesitant. Nope, but it looks like he's just going to retreat, knock out my Volt Pix. That is perfectly fine. The only problem is if I bring a Swamper and I don't hit it, yeah, that's gonna really suck. I think I am gonna risk it though. If not, we'll just goose my. That's not an energy. I was really hoping that'd be many. So grab Lele. Kiwi. This is gonna be risky if we don't hit this boost, but I'm not gonna play the Kikui though. We'll get rid of a Lily. I'm not gonna play with the Kikui right away. And it's two boost energy so I can KO. No, but we did hit a pretty good combo here. We'll get rid of the other Lily. I did hit what I need to do, though, to Guzma. So I can either knock out Lele or just hit the Zara Aura. Might hit the Zara Aura, because it is a bit of an issue. It's pretty hard to deal with. Though I guess we could save Swampert for that. So we'll hit the Lele. We'll take out Lele and get two prizes. We should be safe. We don't have enough energy in play for Coco. There's Giga Hammer. For the knockout. And we got a good setup. Let's see what we draw. Rare candy, there we go. And a Beldum, not bad. No, the Beldum's always appreciated. All right, so we're set up pretty well now. Um, all we really need to do is just hope for the best. Good thing he's already played his Jex deck, because he could like Voltail stall me out, because I don't have another Guzma to respond with right away. We'll see what he does. He's gonna attach to uh, Zero Aura. He's probably just gonna powerful spark me. Not gonna lie though, I would like to have a turn where we do Snowy Wind just to set up damage. And oh, he's gonna bring out Lele, which means he will kill me. I have no energy in the discard pile. Okay, still knocking me up, so he's trading prize for prize. I'm gonna bring up Metagross. We could potentially still hit the super boost energy. Alright, let's see what we get. Another Kikui. Alright, well. I'll just get rid of Book of Hell. I was gonna save it in case like he dropped Nathan Paradise, but at this point, we're just digging. No super boost energy, that is fine. We'll just. I could Kikui. I think we'll just attach to Metagross. Maybe just. I might Kikui anyways, just to burn. So I, I think once we do one Hydro Pump, we're not gonna be able to do it again because both Thunder and Plasma Fist KO me, so we might as well just burn this now. Just keep digging. There's a max potion. That's one of the cards I was actually looking for. And we will just hit him for a decent chunk of damage, 180. He's got 30 HP left, so yeah, we can Snowy Wind him next turn, which I might do. He's probably going to retreat in his Zero Aura and just Plasma Fist. Then we can go in Nine Tails, heal, knock him out. Pretty decent. Electro Power number one. If he plays like three in one turn, I am going to be KO'd, and I think at that point it's going to be pretty hard to win. Hey, yeah, if he KOs me this turn, I'm probably going to lose. 
So I don't really see how I can do much else after that. Because I really do need to take this knockout snowy wind to do something. So I really hope this doesn't kill me. Even with two electro powers though, it isn't enough. Right? 210, 240. Oh, you actually hit two. Please don't tell me you hit double electro power. My luck is just not good today. Alright, oh my gosh, I did not count the math on Powerful Spark. Wow. How many Goosmas has played? One. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We have to go Metagross. We have to tank a hit. Oh my gosh, this guy actually knocked me out. What the? What are the odds? I actually have to remove everything. Well, it doesn't matter. Lele's on the bench. And he's got Guzma for game, too. Of course he does. Wow. Why? How are we just not winning games today? I just don't get it. I don't get it. Is this deck just not as good as people make it out to be? I don't know. But apparently, guys, this deck ain't working for us. take three prizes but it's not gonna get me anywhere I think we lose I like I can take three prizes and then just hope that Ninetales doesn't get KO'd by Plamifist but he just needs to play one more electric power and this guy's playing more than two so we just gotta hope he doesn't have Guzma and we just hope Metagross tanks it hit that's all we can hope for Apparently we just can't get lucky. Even with the hand this big, we are still just not catching a break with this deck today. So I don't know what's happening, guys. I really don't. I don't know. It's making me feel bad inside. The deck's working pretty well for us. And that's game. Great. We lose. Awesome. Just, how does this deck lose? That, like, I don't get it. Oh my gosh. I don't get how this deck is working today. I was testing, and this deck was working perfectly fine, but for some forsaken reason, the deck is just playing like absolute garbage, or it's just not working. So I think we'll wrap up the video there. I, I This deck is just not working. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Even when the deck gets completely set up, we get the multiple stage twos in play, we get the Swamp Run online, we get in a pretty good spot where we can take multiple Kales with nine tails. We still end up losing. So, I don't know, maybe Metagross just doesn't work anymore in the meta. Apparently it doesn't. I, I don't get it. I just actually don't get it. But uh, I'm just going to end this video off a little triggered that this deck completely failed for us. I was really hoping it wouldn't. I don't know, man. I think this deck has some potential, but I don't know. I think, I don't know what we could really have done with the deck to make it, like, work in, in those two matchups. Like, I don't know what it was that... The deck just failed. The, the deck failed us, so... I don't get it. I... I don't know. Do, does Metagross, Ninetales, Swampert have potential? I don't know. There is a reason it got top 64. I mean, it you know, could have gotten top 30, so maybe this deck just isn't as good as it wants itself to be, so I don't know, man. I, I just don't get it. I don't get how we lost those two matches. The deck got set up in both games pretty well, so I don't know what's going on, guys, but... I still think this deck has some potential to be a fun deck, and I'll probably end up looking at Nola Ninetales and Metagross with Sogaleo down the road, because I have more faith in that deck than this deck, apparently, because I don't know, but this was a fun deck to look at. Um, I do feel like if we got Swampert action, it was two booster energy, we might have been okay in that Raichu game, but I don't know, man. But the deck just never worked, so I don't know. We lost, we're 2-0 and with the, we're 0-2 we're with the deck, so who knows. We tried, though, to make this deck do something, so that'll wrap this PGO video. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe on the road to 3,800 subs. We actually just recently hit 3,700 subscribers, so I gotta thank you guys a lot for that. I'll catch you guys in another PDCGO video. Rest in peace, Matagos Swamper, not working. See you guys later. Goodbye.